A coconut. A coconut. Ah! I've been wanting to make a gigante mask out of a coconut for so long, but I could never find a coconut. A lot of people told me that this could be brujeria since I found it on the street with no coconut palm trees around. The Lord provides. There's not even any palm tree close to here. I don't know how that coconut got there. Maybe those don't even produce coconuts like that. I don't know where that coconut came from. All right, so I'm in my garage because it doesn't count as inside my house if this does have brujeria. Anyways, so what you want to do is you want to cut off a third of the coconut. And you have to choose which side you want to put your face in. So I guess this part is more flat, so I think it would be easier just to... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw where we wanna cut. I'm gonna cut you off. Be careful not to cut yourself. So the Gigante Mask was a tradition started in Spain hundreds of years ago, back in the medieval days. Spaniards used them to mimic the Moors when they defeated them, which is why these masks have like kind of like a scary face on them. But once it was brought to Puerto Rico during colonization, the Tainos adapted to make these masks out of coconut. They were originally made out of paper mache but you can find both techniques used in Puerto Rico. The one I'm making now is used often in Loiza, a predominantly Afro-Boricua community in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Come on, me and Island Gear. We use this during Carnival, y la fiesta de San Sebastián. Super traditional in Puerto Rico. In los carnavales de Ponce, people make vegigante masks out of paper mache. Now you gotta take all the nasty hairs that are inside. Now Ponceños go all out for these carnavales. You know, you can use a you can use this knife to like cut them up. You think Puerto Ricans are prideful? On top of that, Ponceños are proud to be from Ponce, so they will decorate their whole attire off of the Ponce flag. Me no picky English, no English. Maldita sea, Dios te coco. Es ya cuando saca todos los pelos del toto, digo, del coco. You get to the nut. This is the famous coconut that you see like in, I don't know, cartoons, in the grocery store, they sell this. All right, so you don't want to take too much of the coco hairs because that's going to give you the material to carve when you make the facial expressions on here. So cut enough so that you can like put your face through. Now we have to remove the nut from the coconut. So with that, use a hammer. All right, coño. The Gigante mask can also be seen used during bomba performances. No. Puerto Rico's national dance. It's a dance rooted from slavery. Whoa. Slaves use it as resistance against slave owners. Dang. It's a relationship between the dancer and the drummers. The drummers change rhythm and pattern based on the dancer's movement, so the dancer's in I control. See if I can get some. Ooh! I hate coconut. I'm gonna try the brujeria coconut. <laughs> It's a coconut though. Ay, coño. Seguimos rompiendo. Diablo, esta brujería huele bien rico. Now we take the meat out with the thing. That was satisfying. I just took this big chunk out. Whoa, it looks like a skull. Look at that. Like a child's skull. Brujería. All right, so that skull that you've seen here, you have to take out as well. Using a screwdriver, I'm gonna just... <laughs> All right, now that the shell is pitted, my face fits in here. <laughs> fits. Now you're gonna wanna clean the inside as much as possible. Don't take too much of the meat out because you wanna make facial structures and so you don't wanna break through the mask. So leave enough meat, but clean it up a little Now that I cleaned out as much as I could, try to smooth it out. I mean, there's still gonna be some pelitos there. We're gonna draw the face that we're gonna carve out from the face of the coconut head. Here's the face I drew on it. Uh, hopefully it will come out looking like this. All right, now what we will do is carve the outside like inward, like carve it inward so that this nose is projected outward. <laughs> Now what you're gonna want to do is seal it with Mod Podge so all the pelitos won't like be sticking out and stuff. Like so. And then just leave it to dry. So it's a whole day later. And I forgot to mention, you have to put my touch. Oh.
But what I was trying to say is that you got to fill the inside with Mod Podge as well. As you can see, like there's little spaces in there. You can't really tell from the outside, but from the inside, just in case. That way this nose isn't so fragile. Now that it's dry, we can paint it now. First, we're going to start with the white base coat. Yo soy la curandera y hoy te voy a sanar. No necesito vela pa poder alumbrar. Damn, he looks kind of ratchet. Ha! And now we let it dry. So the base coat dried, so now it's time to start painting it. I haven't decided what colors I'm going to use, but we'll figure it out. This is what it looks like so far. Man, I have no clue what colors I want to paint it. I think I'm just going to go with the Puerto Rico colors. All right. All right, so I'm gonna mix blue with white because quiero hacer como un azulito celeste for like the original Puerto Rican flag. I do not know what I'm doing. Now we mix. I don't know if this is azul celeste. Okay, it's, this is azul celeste, I think. If you're an artist, don't come for me, please. I do not know what I'm doing. Esto está al garete. A Puerto Rican word that means a lo loco. It's like, I don't even know how to translate that. Al garete is when you do something all right, this is the color I want. I'm gonna use tape to make the triangle from the Puerto Rican flag. I don't have masking tape, so I will use priority mail tape. Like this. I see. I don't need say. Mira, en verdad, yo no sé si te lo estoy haciendo bien, pero me está quedando ahí medio ratata. Let me take the tape off. Please be a straight line. I love you, brujería coconut. Uh, make sure you use masking tape instead of plastic tape because look, it's chipping already. So be careful with that. Once we paint all this, we're gonna give it another Mod Podge coat so that it doesn't chip. Now I'm gonna do the red part. All right, let's see. All right. All right. Now the red stripes on the side. I'm gonna try to split it right here where the coconut splits. Now we paint. I'm gonna paint this way just to avoid getting it through the crevices of the tape. It stresses me out so much. Ah, it peeled. I'll touch it up. All right, I finished the third strike. Please don't peel, please don't peel, please don't peel, please don't peel. Please don't peel. Ah. It didn't peel. Okay, looking good. Now to add some definition into like the parts that I carved out in here, I'm gonna paint it a darker color of what it is. Did that make any sense? Like this, the inside, I'm gonna part, put darker red to define it. So this is the final product. So we're back in my garage with the painted mask. This is the final step. I got some random sticks. You're supposed to use this stick, which comes from an actual palm tree because it's curved. I couldn't find any more of these. So I'm just gonna try to carve these. Hopefully they'll work. Another thing I want to talk about with this mask is, I don't know if you guys saw Bad Bunny's new pictures for the Allure magazine. You can see the Gigante mask on the wall. When I saw that, I got so excited. I posted it on my story, but I don't think anybody caught on. But it's, it's a Gigante mask out of a coconut. And then Residente song with Don Omar. Vengo con un flow, puta. Vengo con un flow. The background dancers can be seen while wearing the Gigante mask. What perfect time to be making the mask right now. All these artists showing them off. Okay, so this stick is too big for this one, so I'm just gonna split it into two so that I have two of them. And then you're just gonna wanna shape it, you're gonna carve it, and then you're gonna wanna make this more, you know, what am I Like a pencil, you're gonna wanna sharpen it on the bottom too so that you can stick it in the mask. one right, see how it's pointed on this side but it's also pointed on this side on to the next one estaba pa el barrio pa el punto pa los difuntos pa los panes presos pero siempre junto un cuerno now these were the sticks from the palm tree, but this is not a palm tree, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. Alright, so now we will make some incisions here to stick the palitos in. Take the stick, poke it in. Then you do the same 
I think I'll have a total of five of them. I finished the sticks and now what we do is we paint them. Some of them are skinnier than others, but it's my first time making one of these. All right, I finished painting them and now we put them back on. And there you have it. Seal it off with some Mod Podge, that way the paint doesn't chip. And there you have it. Me duele la espalda, mi gente. My back hurts. You can just hang it up like this if you want to. Si lo quieres de adorno, if you want it for decoration. Or you can put an elastic or, or a string or something to wear it if you want to wear it. This is what it looks like. Thanks for watching, everybody. And the Higante mask. It's going to go right here next to the other one.